hello guys you're welcome to my channel again this is a home of fashion where they teach how to cut and sew varieties of style so in today's tutorial we're making this fleece skirt with a drawstring in a very easy way so guys if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell select all so that whenever i post a new video you can get notified and i say a big thanks to all my returning viewers may god bless you all so guys i have these two crepe material here the purple one is three years why this other one is one and a half years so for you to make such maxi skirt you need about three years so and i have my paper stay here for the waistband so because i wouldn't want the video to be too long i'm only going to drop the tutorial on the on the skirt so we're making this skirt today okay so i'm going to be dropping the tutorial of the top next tomorrow okay don't forget subscribe Hit the notification bell so that you can always come back to come and watch so for us to make this maxi sketch you only need two measurements which is your round waist or your waist circumferences and the length of your skirt okay it's very simple that is just the two measurements that you will need for this skirt so now this is three years what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be folding it in a triangular way okay so it and it's going to be in four place in uh, into four i mean i'm going to be folding it into four so let me hold it as you, can, as you can see the way i hold it now so i'm just going to turn it like this like this okay it's as simple as this this is the folding so and when i'm cutting this you're going to see you're going to be saving yourself the strength of calculating the the formula for the waist circumferences and all that so before we do that i'm going to be using my office pin to hold it down so that so that it can stay perfectly with because the fabric is a little bit wobbling okay so i'm holding it now just stay tuned you'll be able to understand it it's very simple and beautiful don't worry just stay tuned and let's do this so now as you can see it's into four and i folded it in in a triangular form so what we're going to be doing my round waist measurement is 30 30 divided by four is 7.5 so what i'm going to be measuring here now is eight so i'm going to be using the the two inches on it for my zipper allowance later though i'm going to reduce it to be 1.5 okay so i just measure eight inches now all you have to do is just to divide your round waist measurement into four that is all and add one inch with it or a half inch okay so from here now this skirt is going to be having a 2.5 wide waistband so as you can see the way i place my measurement tape so from there now i assume i have added the band so from there i'm going to be taking the full length of my skirt okay so i'll start marking now all right so i'll start marking it around We are still marking so you have to be measuring it well so that you will get it right okay so that the downside which is the ending line will rhyme very well so now that we are done with the chalking so i'm just going to cut it out now so the fleece skirt is being cut and it's ready as you can see it's as simple as this so i'm going to open it up now then i'm going to be using my office pin to hold the back side which is my zipper side okay so that i'll be able i'll now spread it so that we will be able to get the midpoint and to know where our slit is going to be before forming our 
drawstring on it okay so i'm holding it now so i'm going to be opening it up now i'll open it up So just stay tuned i'm trying to get the midpoint of it okay so you know the flay is very massive in order for us not to make mistake i need to set it very well to get the midpoint to know where our slit is going to be okay so now I'm able to get it first I'm going to be measuring eight inches from the side okay then I'm just going to place my measurement uh, my 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 straight ruler and make a straight line down so I'm going to, with this line I'm going to fit it in on my waist to see if I get it right if I if I don't get it right I'm coming back to make an adjustment so i from the waistband now i came down by 18 inches that is where my opening is going to start from okay so i'm going to fit it in now to see if i really get it right so if i do not get it right i'll make an adjustment all right guys i've done that so i realized that my my line is not correspond it's not line it's not in the it's, it's not well positioned so for it to be well positioned i have to come back like two inches around the waist around the waistline then still extend my hand to the front side like this okay before the slit so this is an adjustment that i've made it's very it's advisable for you to fit it on your waist before you slit it so that you won't make a mistake okay so now that we have gotten it like this so I still need to open it a bit. So we are moving to the next step of this sketch now. So I've gotten like 1.5 inches wide. So I'm going to be using to pipe it to pipe in the opening. Okay. So after that, I have this 2.5 inches wide that I'm going to be placing on the on the straight line that we made from the from from the waist to the to the opening where the, that is where we're going to be fixing our string okay so and i have this strap also that i'm going to fold like this for the string and i have gotten the 2.5 inches waistband so and when i was cutting i cut three inches and i used half half inches to press it in with my paper so I'll go ahead, I'll go and do all the piping, then I'll come and show you the next thing to do. Alright guys, as you can see, as you can see the opening, I'm done piping it. And this is the, this is the, the straight, the straight one that we make for the string. And I've already fold the, the strap. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to hang my, my um safety pin on it then. I will insert it just like the way you see me doing now so it's very simple it's very simple once you follow the way I, I'm doing it now if you're going to get it right okay so I'm going to insert the second the second strap now If you are still watching till this time please like this video comment share for your girl mm? and subscribe always come back to watch my video you gain a lot i love you all so i'm just going to make a stitch there so that i'll be able to draw it so i'm done so i'm going to draw it now as you can see this is very beautiful so i'm just going to make it tight Make a stylish tie on it, okay?
so the next thing we are we are going to be doing now is fixing of the waistband before the zip hmm? so you can decide to put your zip at the side it just depends on how you want it okay so i'm going to go ahead to my machine now as you can see it's 2.5 so i'm going to go ahead to my machine now i'm going to be placing it like this so i'll first of all open it like this and close the side then i will gently insert it like this okay then i'll run a gentle stitch through it so that i'll be able to get the same line at the front side and at the back side at the same time so i'll go ahead now to my machine i'll go and do that then i'll come and show you and see the next thing to do all right guys as you can see i'm done fixing that as you can see how perfect this this came out do you see that do you see it so i'm going to go ahead now to my machine the last this is the last thing we're going to be doing fixing of the of the zip so i'm going to go ahead now i'm going to fix the zip then i'll close the remaining the remaining space then i'll just then i'll just fold stitch the hemming line very tiny stitch so i'll go ahead i'll go and do that now then i'll come and show you the final look all right guys as you can see we have come to the end of this tutorial as you can see how beautiful this came out so i've ironed and it came out beautiful and perfect so guys if you have not subscribed please subscribe like and share and don't forget turn on your notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you can get notified this is how i always keep it simple and easy to understand here so guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate me god bless you all bye for now thank you